Welcome back, guys, to another episode of The Walking Dead. We're spending the night in this big old transformer Today's generator thing. Near as I can tell, at least. Definitely this week. Well, <laughs> happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. That's pretty old. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. <laughs> what did you study? Majored in art history. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure this is as Let's good a time as pop some in. bottles. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armor. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. I feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh, wait. You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the... Uh, Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> To the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got a <laughs> first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah. Maybe later. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I She's so odd. Come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out. She up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just teasing. People taking shots Maybe left and right. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. Guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. <laughs> Alright, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. <laughs> kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. The both of you. That's hilarious. You're talking about kissing stuff. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, well, I think we could bet on that. Because you see... <laughs> Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. What? Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. 
We better have a love triangle going on right now. Clem, some threesome go see action. if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change the minds. Warm them right on up. Why do I have a feeling something really bad is about to happen? <laughs> like, this is way too peaceful and nice. If we haven't had anything interesting happen so far. I have a feeling shit's about to hit the fan. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sip? It's okay. Hell yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh-oh. Busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess <laughs> I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals and i got it in my head that i really wanted to eat a couple so i got the bright idea to smash it on my parents dining room floor to get at them and it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room and i proceeded to eat what i thought was sugar candy wow that's really stupid <laughs> yeah Clem, i was drunk Problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. Oh shit. It's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Holy shit. I haven't thought about that in a long time. That's crazy. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Time to go to work on Kenny. Any of us. See if we can help him out. Time to not make it weird. Nice job, Clem. <laughs> Wanna sit here? No. That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. As far away as she can possibly get. <laughs> Complete opposite side of the fire. All right. Mr. Kenneth. Oh, that's Arvo. Should we go talk to Arvo? See what he's up to? I'm going to go see what Kenny's doing. I feel bad for him. I'm... I'm sorry about your sister. This dude is constantly crying. <laughs> he constantly has like a giant stream of tears coming down his face.
Come on, you know you want some. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. I'm starting to think she might be a bad influence on you. Girl your age, it ain't right. I know you think you're older, but you're not. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to disappoint you. You're not, hun. It's probably not my place to be telling you what to do. It's a nice night. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. <laughs> Such a smart ass. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help. And I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. Good old I didn't duck. Him like I should have made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him, from my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. Oh, that's so sad, dude. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. Nice! Two for two, baby. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just... Spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Poor Arvo. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Oh, what a good guy. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. They do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Shut up, dude! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! He's gonna attract walkers. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. 
Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. He already had first watch. It was nice while it lasted. <laughs>